Hey guys, welcome to Physique Court Fashion Nas YouTube channel. Today I will teach you how to make the notched sole lapel of this jumpsuit. Also make sure you check out my video on how to cut the overlapping top of this jumpsuit. I delight in teaching you guys how to make uh, different trendy ways. So please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be informed the moment I drop any videos. Thank you. So to to get the short collar, so short collar now. That is what we want to draw out now to get our short collar. So you take your the back cut of your um, overlapping top. You measure what you have here and in at your neck here. What you have, you measure it as you measure it with your tape. The way it goes is you can see it's four, four inches. So it is that four inches now that you are going to get from this place. You get four inches. You mark it. You rule it with this. So you now get the the midpoint, midpoint of this uh, four inches, which is two. Two. You mark it. Then here you now come out by half, 0. 0.5. That is half inch. You come out. So all this we are doing here is for allow our the collar in our back to sit on our back. That's what we are going to achieve here. As you come out by half, you now link it to this uh, midpoint. Now, this place now, you want to draw this, you, uh, you want to get, you want to determine how wide your collar is going to lay here now. So the minimum you can use here is two, um, three quarter, that is 2.75 inches. So if you like, you can use three inches, you can use three and a half. Three and a half is the maximum and the two point, uh, two three quarter is the, is the minimum. So to get two three quarters, this is, this is 2.75, you mark it. So as you must, from here, from this, from this very place now, you are going to get four again from here. So two, two three quarter. Get your two three quarter here. Yeah. So you get four. The same way you get four here, you get four. So this mark, this is where it's supposed to be. So because you are still maintaining your two. 0.75. So you rule it, you link it to this one. So here now, you come up from on this point now, you come up by one and a half. All we are trying to achieve here is to give us relaxed collar so that your collar will not be flying. You mark it. So this one now, you now slantly link it to this uh, to this point so it's around five and a half here now so from this point now I want to ensure that my line is three I still two, three quarter, so it's supposed to stop here. So from this point now, on down here, I will now come out. We are, you know, we have already gotten our overlapping extension. This is it. Now we are trying to get the cost and the, the so-called collar. So I'm using two. 
So you, you can use two and a half. You can even use three. It depends on how wide you want your color. But for my, for this tutorial, I'm using a two here because the uh, style we are trying to make is tiny down there. So now we are going to link this one now. We are going to con connect this one together now. From up here, we'll connect it. <coughs> Fine. So we want to give our color shape here. We want to give it shape. We don't want it to just go straight like that. So to give it that shape from this point now, from this point come out a bit because we want to give our color shape we want to give it one kind of fine shape for it to be a little bit bigger at the um shoulder part a so you are going to use your cuff to achieve that so on this very point we want to come out a bit like this a uh, half inch so that one is going to have effect from the from the back here because we want the the back to be thinner a bit Then here, down here, you come in by like a half. Or like a, let's come in by three quarter. Because we want our color to be thinner at the down part there. That's what we are trying to achieve. So now, the way we are going to cut it out now, is going to be from here, from this point. Then we come out like this. Then, this is the point we are going to give it the notch. That we are going to notch it. We are going to open it here by like one and a half or two. So now, before we cut it out, we are going to put a um, seam allowance of a half, half inch. So we are going to mark that one. So it is on that line that we are going to cut it, cut it out. That's for the swing allowance. Here, you come up here by half an inch.
And here, to come out by half, half, and here, half. Then here, here we come up by half. So that's the way we are going to cut it out. We want to cut it out now. Just follow the way I'll be cutting it out now. So be reminded that uh, here I want you to see clearly what we have here. So don't be confused with the line. So from here to here is half inch. So this is where you are, what you are going to. Put out now. So this is the point you are going to notch your this place. So after cutting your fabric even before here you're going to notch it like this so this is the front cut of our um, overlapping um, notched shawl collar 